What's up guys, this is Luis with Luis Tutorial TV. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the new tech news from Microsoft. Now, April 29th to May 1st, they're having a, what's called a Build uh, Developers Conference. Annual Build Developer Conference. And they're gonna be talking about a lot of technology and it's actually happening right now. And uh, like I said, it's April 29th to May 1st on Channel 9. You can go to buildwindows.com during these days and um, actually look at it, watch it live, and you could see all the new technology coming out from Microsoft. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, explain to you guys what they're going to be talking about and what new technologies are coming out. Now, let's start off with the Surface Pro. The Surface Pro 4 is coming out here soon. We still don't know when. Sometime this year, the rumors have it. But uh, it look, they're using fourth generation core processors on the Pro th uh, Surface Pro 3. And actually, Microsoft has made the uh, Core M, Intel Core M, or Intel has. And Microsoft's been using the in Intel Core M, which is actually fanless and has a lot more performance. And the question is if Microsoft is going to be using this new core for their new Surface Pro. More than likely, they will. And hopefully they do. It's fanless, and they can make the um, they can make the the Surface Pro a lot thinner that way because it's fanless. So that's going to be uh, something we're going to have to see. Windows 10 is still not working like it should. Microsoft has promised that they're going to release before the winter. They're going to release Windows 10, but uh, we'll we'll see how they do. We'll see. Um, if they fix it. A lot of criticism with their start menu. They say it's still a work in progress and notification support is iffy at best. Now I will post a link on the description of this video for this article so you can take a look at this yourself if you want to read through the whole thing. I'm kind of just skimming through it just to let you guys know what's going on in the news of technology. And they say that if 10, Windows 10 was released in its current state it wouldn't be pretty. It's, all, it's been off track, rushing into release. Um, they really got to improve it. I mean, they still have a lot to do on Windows 10. And like I said, uh, the release date, they, they're going to release it. Some, their Microsoft, like I said, is promising to release it before winter. Also, Windows 10 has a new flagship that they're going to be releasing, and it's called the Lumia 940 going to have a 5.2 inch display 1080p display actually and they're going to have an extra large model excel model with a 5.7 inch display the resolution is unknown but it will have an incredible 25 megapixel camera which is going to be awesome now to make them the good news to make uh matters a lot better windows 10 is finally finally going to adapt Android apps. Now, if you guys all know, Windows 10 had very few apps, has very few apps, and uh, it's creeping behind. But it looks like they're gonna, out, they're gonna support Android apps because they desperately need app support. Now, like you say here, supporting Android apps could be both a blessing and a curse because Windows 10 wanted to have their own thing but now if they're going to start using Android apps, then, you know, they're going to have to uh, sacrifice some uh, some liberty there of making their own apps. They're going to have to work with Android to make their apps with Google. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. But uh, it could be a curse also, more than a blessing and a curse. I personally don't use Windows phones. I don't like them. I like to, I like to use a desktop and the tablets. But as far as phone goes, I didn't really like the Windows phone. But if they're going to start support Android apps, maybe, maybe I'll look into it. I don't know. Everyone has their own suggestions. Now, the HoloLens. I have been making more uh, previous tech news about the HoloLens, a hologram technology, and it looks like they're still working on it. They haven't made a release date yet, which is um, expected. But this is going to be so badass once they actually release the HoloLens. I mean, you're going to be able to watch Netflix. You probably won't even need a TV in your living room anymore. You could probably expand the you can expand the net the window and watch Netflix as as big as you want on your living room because you're just going to be watching virtually, which is awesome, guys. I can't wait to watch Netflix on this thing, <laughs> or play Minecraft. Have all your Minecraft stuff all over your living room. That'd be sick. 
But uh, if you guys want to watch uh, Build, like I said, the Build um, Developers Conference, it will be airing uh, April 29th to May 1st. It's actually going on right now live. That This is just a skim of all the technology coming out from Microsoft. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always making new tech news. Like the video, and I'll see you in my next video.